Jonathan, otherwise known as Senor Smoke here at Curdo's in Westchester County. Welcome to one of my smoke sessions, Fireside Chat. We are here at Casa de Smoke, and tonight, tonight, we have a nice piece of beef going on the al fresco tonight, but we are going to take a different approach on how to sear this bad boy. I am not putting this ribeye on the sear zone. Actually, I'm doing it a different way, and I'm going to dub this post. It's gonna be called to sear or not to sear. That is the question. Or, or more, it's probably more apropos to call it to sear zone or not to sear zone. That is the question. And the reason I raise this is that I'm at a fundamental, I'm at a crossroads right now with my alfresco grill. I am really moving away from talking up the sear zone, the Hellfire burner anymore. Most of my customers who are doing 42 inch grills, and remember on a 36 inch grill, you don't want a sear zone. I don't care what brand it is. Some of them just, they come embedded in them. I understand that, but you really don't want to do that on a 36. You don't have a lot of room, okay, for your normal grilling. But on the Alfresco, most of my business is at the 42 inch uh, width. And in the past, in our showroom, we have one with the Sierra Zone in it. You've seen the Hellfire videos that I've done. And um, the thing is nuclear. Now, the problem with that is that the burner is 1100 to 1800 degrees, okay? Now, our friends over at Lynx will tell you, hey, you know what? Yeah, we have the Sears, uh, the Trident burner, and you can do, you can go mellow with it. You can turn it down to three, four hundred degrees. You can cook normally on it. I have my own questions about the Trident burner, and that we won't, we won't bog you down today with that. That'll be another post. But the fact of the matter is, on the Alfresco, you are hard pressed to do normal cooking, delicate cooking. Let's say delicate grilling, if that even exists, that term on the alfresco burner and the problem is that even on a 42 inch that sear zone you can't take it in and out like you can with the blaze grills like you can with the artisan okay you are wedded to that once you get it all right and what it's doing is it's basically occupying 33 percent of your grilling space to me this is a fundamental question of real estate and i'm not buying it anymore so all of my 42 inch customers i am telling them to not get the sear zone, get the ALXC42, that's the standard grill. Number one, your normal burners will get hot enough to sear, okay? But, but, if you really wanna take it up to another level, I have, two, I have two products for you. You can get the solid fuel insert, which is a total revolutionary game changer, all right? There's nothing, nothing that beats cooking with wood, baby. Remember that, um, or charcoal. And the other thing is you can get grill grates, which we now have. And grill grates are a revolutionary product, uh, Meathead on um, AmazingRibs.com waxes poetic about them. Um, they really, they fundamentally changed the way you grill. Earlier this week I had, um, we were grill grilling chicken cutlets and I'd put a few cutlets on uh, the normal alfresco grate and then I put a few on the grill grate on the alfresco grill, literally right next door to one another. And the difference between them was insane absolutely like polar opposites i mean the grill grate cutlets were um juicier they would had a better sear on them and then on the uh on the normal alfresco grate it was kind of like dried out um i'm not going to get into the fundamental motorcycle i'm not going to get into the details about grill grates right now because that's its own multiple posts about that um it's just an insanely great product but what i'm saying to you is the, I think we're at a point right now, and people off us go probably like throwing tomatoes at the screen right now, where you have to really think about the sear zone. Um, uh, what I've had some customers doing is they've gotten the ALXC42 and they've built it in, the standard grill, and they're doing a sear zone as a side burner. We could do that with an alfresco. Um, and I've had a few customers ask me about doing a sear zone um, on a cart on the wing of the cart as a side burner. I don't know if you can do that. You, they definitely have a side burner that you can put on the cart. I'd have to check that. Um, but anyway, so when I make the steak tonight, we are, um, we're gonna put it on uh, the grill, no sear zone, and that's where it's at. Um, again, it's, to me, it's a fundamental question of real estate. And um, when I'm grilling and I have no need for a sear burner, I'm doing vegetables, I'm doing burgers, stuff like that, stuff I'm not gonna put on the sear zone. I mean, my, my grilling, area shrinks down appreciably um, and I'm not into that. I want to be free, open, liberated. I don't want to grill constrained. It's not cool. All right. I have to drink more wine and more beer to feel that's that feeling of freedom. And that's just, you know, well, having more is good, but nevertheless, it's just definitely something that um, 
I'm really questioning. I'm not telling people not to buy it. I'm just raising the question. Uh, I'm assuming most stores you go to want to sell you on a Sears Zone. It's a more expensive product. But um, you're going to talk to Senor Smoke, Jonathan, uh, and my folks over at Cardo's. We're going to tell you to think about it. It might not be right for you. Um, and I'm not going to throw all Sears Zones under the bus. I'm not even throwing on frescoes. I mean, the links. It's something I want to play around with because the links you can uh, really take that thing down uh, in, in temperature. I don't really know what the advantage of having a sear burn or three to four hundred degrees is, um, but again, we're going to play around with it. I'm getting an all sear link soon, and then I'll have plenty of blog posts uh, about that. So that's where I am to sear or not to sear. That is the question. I am now leaning on not to sear zone, and uh, you can sear with other. There's other ways to see her on the alfresco, just remember that. So anyway, that's it. We're keeping it short and sweet. Jonathan at Curtos.com. Hit me up, email me. If you're in the Tri-State area, come into Curtos, our extensive outdoor display. It's unparalleled. Um, and we have the knowledge to back it up. Thank you very much for your time. And we hope to see you soon. Happy grilling.